Imagine a ship. Not a ship that sails the oceans of Earth, but one that sails the vast dark ocean of space-time. This is the James Webb Space Telescope. It is our golden eye in the sky. For decades we looked up at the night sky with wonder, using telescopes on the ground and then with Hubble from orbit. We saw galaxies spiraling in a cosmic dance. We saw nebulae where stars are born and where they die. But there was so much more hidden from us, shrouded in cosmic dust and stretched to the very edges of the visible universe. Imagine you are standing on a quiet beach. You see seashells from your own local shores everywhere. But then, you spot something new. A bottle, sealed with wax, containing a message written in a language you have never seen. This is what it felt like when the astronomical community first detected 3I Atlas. This object is not from around here. It is not one of the familiar comets or asteroids. It is an interstellar object. A piece of another world, another sun's family, flung out into the void and by pure chance drifting into our celestial backyard. It is a messenger from an unknown star. And in doing so, it has opened a new chapter in our exploration of the cosmos. The universe, it seems, is not just something to be observed from afar. It is something that comes to visit. And we were ready to see it. This is not the first time our solar system has had a visitor from the stars. In 2017 we met our first confirmed guest, Umuamua, that name is Hawaiian, scout, first distant messenger. What a strange messenger it was. It was small, perhaps the size of a city block. It was shaped like a cigar. It was dark and reddish. It tumbled end over end as it sped through our system. It showed no signs of being a comet, no coma, no tail, just a weird, inert rock. Or was it? Its strange acceleration as it left, a slight push not caused by gravity, still puzzles scientists today. Then, in 2019 came our second visitor, 2i slash Borisov, much more familiar. It looked and acted like a comet from our solar system. The story of 3i slash Atlas began, with a faint unexpected pinpoint of light. It was first spotted by the Atlas Survey, a set of robotic telescopes in Hawaii, designed to scan the sky for asteroids that might pose a threat to Earth. But this little dot was different, its path was wrong, it was moving too fast. A hyperbola, not bound to our sun. A one-way ticket, from the depths of interstellar space and heading right back out again. This ghost was incredibly faint. Think about it, traveling for untold ages in the absolute cold between the stars, a temperature of just a few degrees above absolute zero, a dark frozen relic. Entering our solar system, feeling the sun's gentle warmth, ancient ices began to sublimate into gas. The tiny nucleus, its wispy coma, appeared as a barely perceptible smudge against the black. Catching a clear picture was a monumental challenge, like photographing a single dark snowflake in a blizzard at night from a mile away. The solid nucleus is probably only a few kilometers across, incredibly small in cosmic terms, moving at tens of kilometers per second, a speeding bullet in the dark. We needed a telescope sensitive to faint cold objects. We needed a telescope that could resolve tiny details from millions of kilometers away. We needed a telescope that could see the invisible. So the community turned to Webb, the perfect tool for the job. While other telescopes saw a blur, we hoped Webb could see the heart of the matter. We hoped it could distinguish the nucleus from the coma and study the cloud of gas surrounding it in detail. Webb has a suite of advanced scientific instruments. One is the near-infrared spectrograph, NIRSPEC. A spectrograph spreads light into a rainbow, a spectrum. Different atoms and molecules leave barcode-like lines in that spectrum. By reading that barcode from the comet's coma, scientists identify gases, water, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, methane. These are the very building blocks of life. So the web image is more than a picture, it's a data-rich treasure trove. We're chemically fingerprinting the comet, a long-distance autopsy on a piece of another solar system. So, what are we learning from this spectacular new view of 3i Atlas? The initial findings are already sending waves of excitement through the scientific community. By analyzing the spectrum of the coma, scientists have confirmed the presence of water ice. This is profound. It suggests that water is a common component of comets even those formed around other stars. It reinforces the idea that raw materials for life might be delivered to young planets by comets, a process that may have happened here on Earth billions of years ago. Perhaps the seeds of life are scattered throughout the galaxy. Webb's instruments detected an unusual ratio of certain molecules, carbon monoxide, methane, water. This chemical cocktail is different from what we typically see in comets from our own solar system. This is a clue, a hint about the specific conditions in the protoplanetary disk where 3i Atlas was born. 
Different temperatures and pressures cause different chemicals to freeze into a comet. From the high-resolution image of the nucleus itself, we can see its shape and size with much greater clarity. The universe is full of wonders, and the story of Webb and 3i Atlas is packed with fascinating details. For instance, the James Webb Space Telescope is so sensitive that if it were a person, it could detect the heat signature of a bumblebee on the surface of the moon. This sensitivity let it pick up the faint thermal glow of a small frozen comet millions of kilometers away. It operates at a frigid temperature of about minus 233 degrees Celsius, minus 388 degrees Fahrenheit. It must be this cold so its own heat doesn't swamp faint infrared signals. Interstellar comets like 3I Atlas are true cosmic wanderers. Based on visitors we've spotted so far, astronomers estimate there could be thousands of interstellar objects passing through our solar system, most going completely undetected. Most are just too small, too dark, and too far away for us to see. We're only now, with tools like Webb and new sky surveys, beginning to open our eyes to this invisible traffic. The galaxy is a much busier place than we imagined. These objects were likely ejected during chaotic planet formation, flung out by giant planets' gravity. Where did 3I Atlas come from? By tracking its trajectory backward, astronomers can narrow its origin region. The discovery and detailed observation of 3I Atlas are more than just an astronomical achievement. They change our perspective. They alter our sense of place in the universe. For all of human history our solar system felt like a self-contained island, isolated in the vast emptiness of space. The arrival of Oumuamua, Borisov, and now 3I Atlas shatters that sense of isolation. It proves the space between stars is not empty. It's a highway, with material from countless star systems crisscrossing the galaxy. This discovery fuels our imagination and our deepest questions. If the building blocks of planets are exchanged between star systems, what else might travel with them? Panspermia, life transported on comets and asteroids, has long been on the edge of science. 3. I Atlas doesn't prove panspermia, but confirmation of water and complex organics makes it more plausible. As survey telescopes get more powerful, we'll find more visitors, 4i, 5i, and beyond. Each will be a new data point, a messenger from an unknown home. Future missions could intercept one, land, and analyze it up close. Imagine holding a piece of another star's world in a robotic hand. Seeing 3i Atlas with Webb is a moment of cosmic connection.